Welcome to basic power system analysis using PSSC course. In this lecture, we are going to introduce what is the power system. Uh, before we get on with this lecture, let's uh, discuss what is required from a good power system analyst or a, a good power system studies engineer. So, in order to be a good power system analyst, one should have a background of power system engineering know-how know of the analytical software tool. In our case, this will be PSSC. Knowledge of the power system under study and knowledge of the problem under study. So once you see what kind of course we have, what kind of power system we have, so based on the system, you have to do certain kind of studies. So uh, as we move on, as we will move on with this course, uh, you'll, uh, we'll uh, try to solve some cases and see what were the problems in them and how we can resolve those problems. So, what is a modern power system? A modern power system is a combination of generation, transmission, this and distribution. So, on the generation side, we, ha we can, uh, we have different kind of uh, generators. So, the generator or the power plant can be from a independent power producer or it can be a government owned power plant. Similarly, then there is a transmission operator whose job is to transmit the power generated by the power plant and send it to the customer. Then we have distribution companies. These distribution companies are responsible for distributing and distributing the power generated by the power plants. And then on the consumer side, we can have two type of many kind of consumers. One is the local consumer, the household consumer, the residential consumer. Then there can be bulk consumer like big factories or big industrial facilities which are using the power so this is the basic structure of power system now in terms of electrical engineering how we can translate this power system into electrical engineering so if we see this is the basic diagram of a power system it starts with a generator then generator step ups the transformer because usually this generation this is at 13 uh, this is at a very uh, less voltage level Usually generation voltage level are like 6 kV or 11 kV, 13.8 kV, 20, uh, 23 kV, uh, 25 kV. So they are usually less voltage level. Then we step it up through a step up transformer and transmit this power through a transmission line. Once we uh, uh, once this power is uh, reached onto the consumer side, then we step down it to a lower voltage level and then it is distributed to all the loads. As I said, these loads can be from the consumer or they can be from the bulk customer. So moving on. Now each of this uh, thing, uh, each of this equipment in this power system, this can be translated into a mathematical model. So when you are doing this power system studies, what you have to do is you have to translate each and every one of this electrical equipment into mathematical equations so that it can be solved through this analytical software. So let us see how these different equipments in the power system, they are translated into their corresponding mathematical forms. So starting uh, on from the basic components, first one we discussed was the generator, the generating part, the, uh, the equipment which generates the electrical power. So for the generating side, you know, in electrical uh, system or in this electrical engineering, everything is in the form of resistance and reactance and capacitance. So what is a generator? So generator is basically uh, a turbine moving an electrical generator. And how does this electrical generator is moved? This electrical generator is moved uh, by a rotor. This rotor is connected to the prime mover. Prime mover uh, moves the rotor and then electrical power is induced in the stator. So what is a stator or what is a rotor? These both are electrical windings, the electrical wires, electrical wiring. So any electrical wire, any electrical conductor, what will it consist of? It will consist of resistance and reactance. So if you want to model an electrical generator into a mathematical model for power system analysis, you need to know its resistance and its reactance. Similarly, 
the transformer. The transformer is the same thing. So you have a step upside, you have a step down the size, and in both sides, what do you have? You have this wire wound around the core. So when you have a wire, when you have a conductor, this conductor will have some resistance and some reactance. Similarly, for the transmission line, one of the easiest way to model a transmission line is to model it as a pi network. So you know this uh, for the transmission line, this resistance and reactance and this capacitance, this will be distributed all over the transmission line. But what we do, we lumped it into a pi network. So what does we do? What do we do? We model the resistance of this whole transmission line, the equivalent resistance or the lumped resistance of this whole transmission line. Then we lumped it as the reactance of this whole transmission line and the capacitance of the line which is given by this x j uh, j x c by 2 on the send, uh, sending end side and on the receiving end side moving on the transformer as we uh, model the step up transformer tra transformer is same for the step up side what will happen the lower voltages will be step up into higher voltages for the step down transformer the higher voltages will be stepped down into lower voltages but the uh, modeling part it will remain the same so what do we require? We require the resistance and reactance of the transformer. Similarly on the load side. So what is load? Load is the electrical power being consumed by the consumer. So how can we model a load? Model on this load itself will have some resistance and its reactance. So similarly, this is how we can make the equivalent model of a load. So now, in order to run this electrical power system or solve this electrical power system, what we can do is now we can connect each of this equipment. So the same power system which we showed in our previous slide, starting from generation, step up transformer, to transmission line, to step down transformer, all the way to load is modeled through this equivalent network. So now what we can see is we have a simple electrical network in the form of resistance and reactance. So it is easy to solve this network through any software or through mathematical equations we know. So this is how we solve an electrical power system. I hope you understand, uh, understood this lecture.